Hello there everyone, it is TIJ and welcome to episode 15 of the Retro Sunday series. Today we're playing EA Sports Cricket 07, unbelievably the final cricket title and the last cricket title that EA have ever made. Not necessarily the final one of course, because EA might make cricket titles in the future. But it would be a real shame if they didn't, because this game is quite possibly the best cricket game of all time, in my opinion, and my good friend Captain Goodspeed's opinion as well. It's a really good game, and I'm going to showcase about 20 minutes of it to you today. So it's a cricket simulation game developed by HP Studios, developed, uh, sorry, published by EA, under, obviously under the label of EA Sports, and it was released in the UK on the 24th of November 2006, and the cover art features Andrew Flint off, and the game's actually got uh, has got massive pop popularity, if I can speak, among the cricket playing nations, and actually many packs are still produced in order for people to be able to play the game, so that's really interesting. Uh, it's kind of the same as any real cricket game, to be honest, there's not really much going on, um, and actually for this game, EA did lose the licensing for most of the team, so it's only Australia, England, South Africa, and New Zealand with the licensed player names and kits. Um, and all the other team names are generic, which is a bit unfortunate because I was going to play England versus India today because the idea was India did have a tour in England in 2007 and obviously they're in England at the moment playing in the third test match. You guys probably will be watching this while well, I'm recording this is the third test match. But I think we're just going to go ahead and play a quick perhaps five or ten over game. So we're going to obviously go with England, see how we, you know, see how we are and then play probably I'd say probably against Australia. So let's continue. Uh, we'll play in England and Wales, yep. Yeah. We'll play, I think we've got to play at, probably Lords, but there's a lot of grounds on this actually. There's a hell of a lot of grounds, which is quite pleasing. We'll play at Lords, 10 over match, pitch type, yet yeah, random, weather, random, temperature. We can't go with that, so we'll go with mild. And we'll leave difficulty on probably uh, three starters to go with. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Uh, so it's hard, hard pitch, sunny, and it's quite mild as well, so that's quite nice. Right, so for the team, jeez, this takes me back. So we've got Andrew Strauss. I'm probably going to pick um, Alistair Cook as his batting partner because obviously Strauss and Cook had a brilliant partnership at 1 and 2. And since Strauss retired, really, it's been a real tricky one to try and replace Strauss. Now we've had the likes of Hales, we've had Jennings, we've had Stone, we've even had Hamid, and to be honest, we haven't been able to replace him. And we've got some fantastic names in this squad. Michael Vaughan, the captain at this point. Ian Bell, Kevin Peterson. No comment. Andrew Flintoff, Graham Jones, Ashley Giles, Liam Plunkett, Matthew Hoggard and Steve Harmison. But the question is, can we swap? Yeah, we're going to swap uh, Hoggard for Jimmy. Jimmy Anderson, class. There's not many more that can be said. Um, and probably, I think we'll keep it as it is. I'm quite happy with that team. And then Australia will pitch, but it will pick by themselves. But this is quite a tricky game in terms of its controls. I'll have to remind myself of the controls. It's been a long while since I've played this. But one of the things that this game is credited on is that, to be fair, you could actually get out in this game. I know it sounds silly, but in this game, you can quite easily get out. We're going to bowl because we're going to chase the win in this one. Um, so quick controls guide. Uh, I don't really bother about fielding. So... Uh, so to bat, basically, you've got to use the right analog stick, which is going to be fun. But I'm sure we'll figure out how to do it. So Steve Harmson's in to bowl. We'll bowl a few, and then we'll sort of go as we do. So we'll just bowl a straight one first off. Seems easy enough. There we go. Can move it there, but it keeps moving down. Is that a no ball? I'm not quite sure. That was a good shot. Oh yeah, of course it's um. It's 10 over match, so they're going to quite go for it. Uh, throw to the wicket keeper's end, triangle, throw to the bowler's end. Um, is the cross, X. Right, the reason we didn't get that there is because it was a no ball. So we need to get it before the red line, I think. Well, before that big line, which is quite a tricky one, actually. There's quite a delay in hitting it and uh, actually getting to it, but that's good. Nothing scored off that one. Um, we'll go with a circular one this time. We'll go over. We'll go over Yorker, but try and get it actually quite close to him, which isn't really going to work. Good ball though, actually, but it's gone straight to the fielder, and that is solid bowling there. 95 mile an hour from Steve Armisen. Katic with no runs off two balls. Right, so we'll go for another straight one here. I like that line. That works for me. Probably a little bit to the right. Oh, that's another no ball. That's unfortunate. He's gone for it, though, there. And it's gone for a six. We've been mugged there. 
And it's quite tricky bowling because that line moves quite quickly. You've got to almost hit it about halfway in and then it, it's got a little bit of a delay than it does. So, about there. That's a solid ball. That'll do. We've bowled five balls, but only three of them have counted, so not the best. That's decent. Throw that to Wiki Keeper. We're keeping them out quite well, I have to say. I mean, two of the runs have been no balls, so... That ain't too bad, and they've had a six. So I don't think we've bowled particularly badly. Bowled a little bit further towards the batsman. That's another no ball. And he's gone for it again. He seems to like that line, actually. I don't think we'll bowl there. We'll probably bowl him a bouncer this time. Uh, we'll bowl circular. That's the off-break ball, isn't it? No, the uh, off-spin. Where is it? Let's have a look. I don't know. It's more of a... I'd say it's more of an in-swinger, isn't it? Right, let's try and bowl a little bit outside the line. Not the best of balls ever, and actually he doesn't really like that, but he's gone for four. Quite lucky there, because he didn't hit it really in the middle. He didn't middle it, but regardless, that's a four for Australia, and that's a real shame, because the over was going really well, and after we've conceded that six and four, then it's gone a little bit pear-shaped. Another good shot from in there. That's another four. That's disappointing. Well, that's 24 off that over, and that is an absolute disaster. Right, Jimmy Anderson to Adam Gilchrist now. Let's go with a straight one. Yeah, quite a short one. I like that. Quite short. I think the closer it is to the line, the better ball it is. There we go. Yeah, that's a class ball. There's no way Gilchrist was going to hit that. Of course, fantastic batsman as well, Gilchrist. You've got to bear in mind... That I probably didn't start watching cricket till maybe 2010, I want to say. And I'm, I'm not the biggest cricket fan ever, but I, 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 I like to say I fairly know my stuff quite well. And this is good conservative bowling from Anderson. Bowling towards the stumps. And this is quite good. Limiting Gilchrist just the single off his first two balls, which is ideal, to be honest. Again, another good uh, ball. We've got the bowling quite good here, actually. And the positive is we might be able to take a wicket because they're going to be a lot more aggressive with it being a 10 over match. So there might be a few more mistakes. That's not the best of balls, but actually, that'll do. Gilchrist really struggling here, I have to say. It's good for us, though. If we can get a maiden over out of this, then that obviously A, half the run rate, and B, really shows Jimmy to be have a really good bowler. Oh, that's a no ball. We didn't want that. It's it's tricky, it's a fine line because you can hit it, say, I don't know, three tenths of a second over and it goes over the line, which I suppose is quite realistic. I mean, bowlers do bowl no balls, even the best in the world, even the likes of Jimmy Anderson. That's a good hit. Can he get it? No, he can't. It's gone straight to the boundary. And this is where we get a bit sloppy. Basically, the closer you are to the line, the better the ball is in terms of the batsman having an inability to hit it. Oh, right, come on. Nice Yorker. That's a nice ball. Field are getting it quite easily there. Well, we've limited them to five that over. That was much better. We are going to skip a few overs now because I don't really want to bowl for this long. This is what's the beauty of it. You can auto-play on these games. Now, I don't think on the other games you can actually auto-play. This is the first one that used this feature. I might be wrong. Um, I think this is the first game that actually... Oh, we need to select a new bowler. So Anderson and Harmison are out. Can they, oh, can you only bowl two overs each? I think that's the way it works. So we'll go with Flintoff. Here we go, here comes Andrew Flintoff. Ten and over for the Aussies at the moment. Let's try and limit them. We'll bowl this one, then we'll get into our innings. Nice your cap. Lovely. Catch! He's gone! Get in! Fantastic. First ball for Flintoff. I'd have to say probably the one, one of the best known cricketers in our country to ever play. And he's given Ponting a send-off there to our Ricky. And he's gone for a duck. Well, well, well. Caught by Jimmy Anderson. Bowled by Flintoff. That was beautiful. What a 
Really quick ball by Flint. I think it was 85 mile an hour. The slip going for it there. But it was quite an easy catch for Anderson in the end. He throws it up in the air. And we've reduced them to 70 for two. Now Martin comes in. Can we get two in two? Seems like Yorker really worked. Doubt it'll work the second time, but oh well. Whoa. No, that was poor. I was trying to get the line right. To be fair, though, he hasn't hit it. I thought that was quite a nice ball. Very close, though. Very close to touching the bat. That's why I think Flintoff's a bit gutted there. I don't like this line. It jerks about a little bit. No, that could be... It's not a... Is it a wide? I don't think so. It's just wide of the bat now. Apparently, that one's wide. Right, fair enough. We need to be limiting these mistakes, I have to say. Oh, wow. That'll do for Martin. I have to say, the problem is we're inconsistent. Like, we bowled fantastic deliveries like we did the first ball and got him out. And then we're just sloppy, no balls. But this, this blue thing keeps moving about. That's the only criticism I've got. That's a nice ball. But he's whacking that around for six. He knows that they haven't really got much time now. And Martin has got 12 off two balls there. Right, let's go for a decently sized ball, but not too bad. That's a good ball, but it's a plumbing no ball again. So tricky to get into a rhythm with this bowling. Particularly if you can't... I don't, I don't know if you can lock the line of the ball, perhaps. We might have a look at that in a second. If you can lock the line of the ball, you don't have to muck around trying to change it at the last second. That's a good ball. But that's gone over the fence anyway for six. Wow. Wow. Lock delivery. X. Let's have a look. There we go. That's better. Much better. Oh, for God's sake, that's no excuse saying, oh, wait, just because we can't get the ball in the line, that we're bowling no balls. Well, we're not doing very well here, and in fact, this has probably lost us the match. Right. That'll do. Focus now. It's a decent ball. He's going to hit it again. He's mugged us this over. Flintoff took a wicket, but to be quite honest, 34 off this over. This is getting a little bit embarrassing now. Let's bowl a bounce to him, shall we? Good ball. <sighs> that was close. Wide? This umpire, I don't know what he's on about. That'll do. Took it for six again. Oh dear. Well, that's not very good whatsoever. And I have to say, Flintoff's been quite the disappointment there. And they're now 111 for two after, in the last over, 70 for one. So, end of the innings. Australia 130 for two. We've got to score 13 and over now to try and replicate that. So, how do we bat first off? I did forget. Um, batting controls. Sot selection, direction and power, right hand log stick. How do we defend? Defend is triangle. We can have a go. We can have a go. But we have to do all the fancy pants uh, front, front and back stuff. Front stuff. Quite complicated. With the left hand log stick, you have to go back for front foot and up for back. Uh, Back for front foot and up for... No. Back for... Down for front foot and up the back foot. Right. Okay. So, on the front foot, we're going to go for an on drive this time. Now, when do we hit the ball? I think it's just there. Oh, that wasn't the best, was it? Right. Hey, we'll, we'll try the lofted shot, why not? Probably get out here, but oh well. And he's gone. <laughs> oh dear. We're going to lose this one quite easily, I think. Nice catch. Michael Vaughan in, probably earlier than he wants to be, though. In comes the bowler again. Can we get our first runs on the board? That was close. Nearly hit that one. Possibly a bit too hard for us, the bowl, and I don't particularly know. 
131 is quite a lofty target though in 10 overs. Ooh, LBW appeal there. Not interested though, yeah, it's just off the uh, right stump. Nothing coming of that. Can we get a run? Oh, Jesus. That'll do. Uh, how do we run? Triangle to die for the crease. We got a run! No, that's not out. We got one run. There you go. Brilliant stuff. That'll win us the game. Hit that one. No run there. It's gone straight to the fielder. We're going to have to get our act together, though. We've had one run in that over. 14 runs and over needed to win this. Brett Lee to Michael Vaughan. Let's advance down the wicket, shall we? There we go. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't far off in terms of timing. Ah, okay. Let's go into settings a minute. Gameplay options. Running assist? What's running assist? There we go. We wanted to, yeah, we want the timing gauge, please. Yeah. Cameras batting and bowling. We'll go with... We'll go behind the batsman, actually. Let's see how that looks. Oh, God, that looks awful. That's a nice hit. There we go. That's what we wanted. On that top left, you get to see where you kit it. But I'm all out of sync here. I don't like that camera angle at all. So let's go into options, cameras. Yeah, broadcast. That's fine. We've got the timing gauge now, which makes hitting shots quite a bit easier. Run rate, three quarters of a run, oh dear. Not it bad. A little bit early, fair enough. Can we get anything off this over? Nice, we'll take that. That's only the one though. We're learning, we're learning, but not quick enough. That's the problem. Right, Alistair Cook, can he get his first runs on the board? Because it's Vaughan who's scored both of them so far. Nice. Oh, no, it's straight up in the air. And Alistair Cook's gone for a duck. <laughs> so, me saying Strauss and Cook are one of the finest partnerships ever. And they're both out for a duck. Well, in comes Ian Bell, and I think it'd probably be best for us to leave them for a little bit to get a few runs on the board five overs in oh dear we're 24 for two after six overs we need 26 and over to win oh dear what is going on right let's advance down the wicket shall we let's hold our one no, that's half decent a little bit early that's a run though I have to say I'm shocked at this game. I remember being a lot better at it at some point. It's like all games though. You've got to have a bit of practice. And what I love about this game is that it's genuinely hard to get used to. A bit early again. But we'll take it. Go on. <sighs> that was close. Has he got there? Let's have a look at... Oh, is he just gone? I think he's just gone. If the green light hits, he's not out. Yeah, he's just out to be fair. Yeah, he's took him. Well, not the greatest to start. Ian Bell and Kevin Peterson in, though, at the moment. Right, let's advance down the wicket a bit early again. We'll take it, though. Right, we're going to try again. We've got there, though, this time. No, that one's not out. Good stuff. Good running. We're not going to win this game now, but let's try and get some admirable amount of runs. Too early. We have to. We have to keep. I think we have to hit it sort of when it's the first bounce. I thought it was when it leaves the bowler's arm, but obviously it's the first bounce because all our balls have been early so far. So let's try that. So that's better. That's much better. There we go. And there you go. So we've learned after about seven overs, obviously it's five which we haven't played, and that is a lovely six for me and Bell. And I have to say this game is very rewarding when you get it right. And he comes again then. 
Clark, this is his isn't it? Decent. That's unfortunate. Ian Bell's gone. It was a nice hit as well. Ideal timing, but it was just down the wrong area of the pitch. That's unfortunate. Now we need 32 and over to win, and in comes Gillespie to Kevin Peterson. Target 131. We ain't going to get that. Go on then, Peterson. Show us your magic. Light. Is he going to be caught? No, he's not. Oh, that's gone for four. What happened there with the fielders? I thought he was caught. Let's have a look at this. It's a poor shot. It's a light shot. And there were two fielders just there. What happened? Well, the one couldn't get it. The one couldn't catch it. It went back over, over both fielders. And here at Lords, they're having a right laugh because they're thinking, come on, England, let's have the best win ever. Gillespie again. That's a nice ball. Two. Let's go for two. Come on. No, he's out. Oh, that's going to be close. Oh, no. He, he threw his back down too late. That was the problem. No, he was, he was in, but he threw his back down too late. Well, that's Peterson's fault. <laughs> in comes Graham Jones now. Come on. Nice. For goodness sake. Graham Jones now. Out. We're, we're just going for... Trying to think of a nice, I'd say, hit or bust. You know, with an S in the front. Uh, what, what's the word? Do or die, I suppose. Now or never attitude. I've never really used that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right, let's go for it. Nice. Should be able to get two there. Let's actually dive for the crease there this time. And I think he's out. I think Flintoff's probably out. He's in. He's in. That's good. Ashley Giles. Wow, that's a name. Graham Swan as well. Obviously, Graham Swan. Probably the best spinner I've seen for England in my time. That's not the best. But we'll get a run off it nonetheless. No, that's nowhere near bowler. It's leg buys anyway. About half five and a half runs and over, but nowhere near the amount needed to beat Australia. Nice. Let's go for two. For some reason he's held it for a long time there, but we've got the two runs. That's not too bad. That's two more runs on the board. End of the over, two hours to go. We'll skip this one because I'm conscious that actually no. Here's the spinner over. I love battering the spinners. Sign that. Probably get Giles out first ball. Here he comes. Lovely. Over the boundary for a six. I do find the I do find the spinners a lot easier to bat against in this game, whether it's the speeds or what. But wow, easy, easy as you like. Easy as you like. Australia have won this game. Let's have a bit of fun now, shall we? That's a bit early. And that could be Giles out. There we go. He's gone. The spinners are really easy to bat against. Yeah, of course. Get yourself out. Second ball. Well done, Giles. And poor Flintoff's not really had a look in. Liam Plunkett, though, now. Bit early. That if that was in line, he'd have been clean bowled. This is an enjoyable game, though. I mean, there's only been a few games after this. Obviously, we had Ashes Cricket 2009. That's nice. Shouldn't be caught. Hopefully, that should go for four. I think. There we go. It's gone for four. We had Ashes Cricket 2009 made by Code Masters. Then we had International Cricket 2010 made by the same company. And then we had a hiatus. We had Ashes Cricket 2013. Which, let's not talk about that, because that was actually unreleased. And we've had a few Don Bradman games, and most recently Ash Cricket. But I don't think any of them beat this. For the enjoyment factor, anyway. Bit late there. Oh, 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 oh. Why is he letting him go? If he'd have hit that right at the stumps, he'd have been out. Not complaining, though. Simmons back to Plunkett. I don't know, is it Plunkett? I thought it was... Flintoff. Didn't, well, that's Flintoff. That's definitely Flintoff. Right, let's go a bit of Flintoff X then. Bit late. But we'll take it. Just for one. 
Well, hold on there. Just one run, and the end of the over. I mean, I have to say, the last few hours have been a lot better than what they had been. Oh, God. Clark, slow left arm. This isn't going to be nice. But he's up against Flintoff for the best batsman, so let's see what he can do. There we go, Flintoff. He shows him how it's done. Six for Andrew Flintoff. As I've said already, we've lost this game, but we're batting it around like no one's business now. And perhaps, maybe... If I'd have had a little bit of practice before we started, we might have been able to challenge Australia. But let's try and reduce deficit to as small as it can be. <sighs> Ideal time, but unfortunately it just leaves the bat. Wide ball, signal by the no ball. Okay, fair enough. We'll take that. Now, I understood the rules around a no ball is that you got a free hit here. But apparently not. Again, ideal time. And again, it's gone for a six. So off two balls, we have got 13 runs. This looks familiar for the ball, the, the, the over that Flintoff bowled. <laughs> and probably Flintoff at the end of this will be the highest scoring batsman, I'd guess. For us. Again, ideal timing. It's over the fence. There's a gap in the field there. So even if you do mess it up a bit, I doubt you're going to be caught. But with three balls to go, Flintoff is knocking it around like nobody's business. We can't get to 100 now, unfortunately, but we can get close. Well, we can, I suppose, with balls, no balls. Ideal timing, not as good, though, there. No, come on, we've got to go for it. I don't care if Plunkett's out. Plunkett's gone. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, they're all chanting and ranting and raving, but all I care about is Flintoff. Two balls left. Lovely. Just the one there. And for the last ball of the match, who's it going to be that takes that? Who is it? Flintoff? No, it's not Flintoff. That's not Flintoff, surely. Is it Jimmy? I think it's Jimmy. Let's go for it. Come on, Jim. Lovely. It's a bit late, but he's going to get caught, isn't he? No, he's not, to be fair. And that's two. And we end the innings on 79 for eight. We've been battered, to be fair, by Australia. But am I fussed? No. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, folks. It was a bit of a weird one, but I thought as India are playing in England at the moment and there's some cricket going on, it would be a good excuse to play to Cricket 07. If you want to see more of this game or more cricket games on the channel, I have got a stack of cricket games. I've got 2002, 04, 05. I've got Brian Lara, 05 and 07 as well. Um, and I've also got International Cricket 2010 if you want to see that for the Xbox 360. So if this one does well, let me know what you guys want to see as your favourite cricket game in the future. Have you ever played this one as well? Have you guys enjoyed this video? That's the main thing. And if you have enjoyed, leave a like. Comment your thoughts on this game on the video, of course. And subscribe for more retro content and football managed content in the future. And hopefully some more cricket content. Thank you so much for watching, folks, if you've got to this point, And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.